What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my drive with me. It's the boy Shingy. You already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we out here, we chilling. It's early in the morning. I just had a long day at work last night and I'm just so tired. Uh, we're about to go head over and buy some expired film founded on Kijiji, which is like a local eBay for like five bucks. Like I'm so excited because I haven't shot Ektachrome before and I haven't shot expired film before and Ektachrome is already a special film. I'm, I don't know, like I'm just so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So we're gonna go grab that, but on the way there, we're gonna be talking about a very important uh, topic that you guys can see um, by the title how to save money shooting medium format film I think I found some really cool ideas on how to save money that I personally use how to save money number one scan your own film like without most of these suggestions guys you have to make an investment that will last you in the long run so so that means you're gonna need to scan your own film which means you're gonna need to buy a flatbed scanner or even a camera like I, I think there's a guy named Matt, Matt Day, he just did this um, YouTube thing one of the one of my followers on Instagram told me about him he scans through his camera you might need to invest into a digital camera but all of this is gonna save you money in the long run because when you're only getting developing you're gonna be paying only at my local store it's only five dollars to develop a whole roll of color film so that's how I save money like now I don't think a lot when I'm shooting because if I was to get them to develop and scan my film for me it was gonna cost me like $16 per roll now now for $16 I could get three rolls done and scan my own film and there's also some positive things guys that come with scanning your own film you get to manipulate it I'm gonna show you a couple examples of film that I've scanned build your own look and all of that other stuff so buy a flatbed scanner scan your own film numero dos I think that's what it is uh, deuce number two so number two is one I just recently started develop your own black and white film like this is so much easier there's a new uh, bath by Cinestill. it's a one solution anybody could do it all you got to do is learn how to use your dark bag and buy the canisters and again you got to invest before you save in the long run you're gonna buy all those things for like a hundred dollars I just recently bought mine and start developing your own black and white film that's gonna save you a ton of money because now all you're spending is um money on film and money on the monobath and the monobath lets you scan about 16 rolls of film they're gonna save that much money that's a lot of five dollars is five times 16 how much is that here you go there it is that's how much you're gonna be saving uh and on top of that i'll be scanning my own film bang booyah you know what i'm saying so like i gotta pick up some money give this guy so you know what i'm saying give me one second Okay, so we're back. So I just had to pick up some quick money to give this due, pay for the ting. You already know what it is, it's the boy. Guys, I'm actually crazy as fuck. What's messed up is I'm actually this crazy in real life. But uh, off we go. Yeah, once you start doing your own, your own mono, but you gotta be saving a lot of money by literally scanning your own black and white film. If you're somebody that shoots a lot of black and white, you'd save a shit ton of money. And um, yeah, like <laughs> scanning your own film at home and also washing your own film in the most easiest way stress-free way you spend more time shooting than anything yeah so that's for my black and white people you could win that way number three is the one that I'm actually doing right now finding film online like you find a lot of cool film online half of the time it's actually not expired but it's old film photographer that um that just stopped shooting and they don't want to shoot anymore because maybe it's too expensive or whatever you'd be surprised like on my site I find like at least a week I find different people that are selling cheap film or really interesting film when you're shooting film you want to do stuff that's also really interesting that's why I'm shooting ectochrome that's when you find the most interesting film stocks you know what I mean so like yeah so like you find cheap film online at your local eBay you could get it for a lot cheaper than what you would if you walked into a store and even when you buy it online guys a lot of these people they're photographers so like they know how to store their film so they'll put it in the fridge which makes the expiring process a lot slower than if you were to leave it in room temperature but yeah that is a three extremely effective way to save money shooting medium format film the reason why I'm so specific with um, saying it's a medium format film because I personally love a lot of quality and medium format it retains really good quality quality when you scan it because it's a bigger negative uh, that's why it's so specific to medium format film photography yeah guys thank you guys for tuning in you're amazing you already know what it is go shoot gang uh, check out my Instagram over here follow the brand check out the website I post a whole bunch of blogs I just I'm constantly 
updating everything. So thank you guys for your support again. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Shop by Shingy. You already know what it is. Deuces.